it is now time to have a look at the basket button component. Now, first thing I'm going to do within the basket button is to create a public property called quantity as well, which by default will have value zero associated with it. Now we're going to have a mount method as well. So public function mount, which will return void. So let's just quickly add a mount component then void and here what we're going to do is call another method which we'll create in just a moment this update which will basically get the fresh copy of uh, the quantity the fresh <laughs> fresh quantity from the basket so a uh, public function oops not like this public function update and it returns void as well update quantity and here what we're going to do is this quantity equals basket and we're going to get all method which we don't have yet and then we need to wrap it in array sum so all the values returned from it will be added up together uh, so we don't have this all method yet so let's quickly open our repositories first we start with the contract and we need to add this method. Let's just add it at the top. So public function all, and that will return an array. Now let's add some dog blocks. Get all items in the basket. Okay, now that we have the contract, let's open our session implementation. And let's add it to the methods tab as well. And I'm going to move it as well above this art. There we go. And here, here, what we're going to do is again, I'm going to add this inherit docs. And from within here, we're going to return this session get. And we're looking for basket session. Otherwise, if the basket session does not exist, return an empty array. Okay, so now going back to our basket button, we'll get the total number of items update and uh, one other thing obviously we need to make sure is that we have the listener for this if you remember in a previous video we've emitted this basket update event so now we need to uh, listen for it from within this basket button and then when this event occurs then we're going to call the update method and that will update the quantity uh, for the number of items in the basket so we're going to start with the protected listeners equals and we have an array basket update which should call internal update method and let's just add some dog block and it's not a string it's array and now one last thing we need to do if we open our basket button view component if we uh, first of all we're going to check actually before so this number here as you can see by default is zero wrapped with this span we're going to check if this quantity if there is a quantity then we and only then we're going to display it so and if and we are obviously going to use this quantity here so this quantity Okay, uh, so that's this, but uh, let's just go back to the browser, refresh, you can see display six. If I keep on adding, you'll see that this is also updating. So that's working fine. If I go for four, 14, so that works fine. Now, another thing that obviously this button is responsible for is toggling this basket uh, uh, preview. So what we need to do next is, first of all, I'm going, while we are actually in this view file, I'm going to add a wire click on click of this button i want to toggle the basket so that's everything actually for this uh, view file so we can save and close it let's go back to our uh, basket button uh, class and here we're going to add this toggle method as well so public function toggle and what this method will do it will not return anything so toggle basket uh, view or preview Point. and what this one will do will simply emit another event so this emit this time this the name of this event is going to be toggle basket and let's just do this render straight away it returns view uh, uh, display component 
I'll render component actually. Okay, save, and I think that's everything within this particular component. Yes, that is. Let's just copy the name of this method. And what I'm going to do is now open our basket finally. And here we are going to add the property, public property are visible. By default, we set it to false. And we are going to add a public function toggle, which will also uh, return void. So toggle visibility. And what we're going to do here is simply this visible equals this visible with exclamation mark at the beginning. So if it's true, it's going to set it to false and vice versa. Okay, so we have toggle. Now we obviously need to register listener for this particular event. So we're going to go for protected listeners and we'll have our uh, toggle basket. Let's just before I Oh, this is not the one uh, before I mistype it. Let's just copy it. toggle basket. There we go. So toggle basket should call toggle uh, method. Uh, let's just add toggle locks here. Okay. And let's just do this as well. Render component. Okay, sweet. Now let's give it a try refresh the page. If I click it, nothing happens. And this is obviously because we haven't updated actually the component view file yet. So let's go back to our basket. Uh, let me just have a look at here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is check if this is visible. Uh, visible. Okay, only then display the contents of the basket. So and if Let's just do the indentation as well, and that should all work fine. So if I refresh the page, now it's display uh, hidden because by default uh, the visibility, the visible property is set to false. If I click it, you can see the, uh, the event has been emitted, and that is now toggling our preview. We can still add the uh, products to the basket. If I was to go back here, let's add some other one. So this one as well. Obviously, the products aren't being displayed yet correctly because we haven't got the full implementation of this component, but our uh, basket button is now working. Our add to basket uh, component is also working. So the last one we're going to be working on in the next video is going to be this basket component.